how many trips you've been here for now? This is my fourth fourth season in Nazareth. And, coming out. And talk about um, what what why do you come I mean, here? What's the uh, the goal? To just catch the biggest wave of my life, I guess. <laughs> And live, live the dream of being a big wave surfer, trying to make it happen for himself. So the long-term um, goal would be maybe on the big wave world tour and shoot surfing PI or, or? Ideally, yeah, I guess, to be able to compete in some competitions around the world. Um, I don't really see myself making a living from big wave surfing at any stage soon. But I guess the, the hustle right now is where it's all at. Yeah, I come from Cape Town. Uh, we have really good big waves around there. Notoriously Dungeons and Sunset Reef. Um, but yeah, the winters for the last three, four years have not been that great because of the El Nino weather patterns. So it's been making more sense to come out here and spend two, three months here um, catching waves, yeah. But yeah, I normally try to get to California after my two months here to go surf Mavs for a month or so. Uh, it's been my dream to get over to Jaws for the last three, four years now, but I've never, never really had the budget to get there. I go, I go work in Germany for two months every year, leading up to my big wave season, so I don't get to surf, but it's the only way I can support myself financially. Um, so it's always tricky trying to negotiate, you know, not surfing for two months leading up to a big wave season, and then arriving here straight back into the middle of it all, getting prepared and figuring all your gear and stuff out. And so, what's it take to be, a, you know, the, the financial side? How does that all fit in? Just guess learning how to budget your, your shit properly, finding the cheapest flights, figuring out the cheapest accommodation as well. Uh, maybe not always the most comfortable, but um, yeah, you definitely gotta, <laughs> gotta make it happen for yourself, bro. So, a lot of um, sacrifices of what you would take for granted. Yeah, I guess it's always complicated leaving home and leaving all your loved ones behind and whatever kind of relationships or friendships you have going on at home and then leaving to go be cold in a winter somewhere where you're going to surf waves that more often than not scare the living shit out of you. Um, I guess you leave a lot of comfort and a lot of security behind, but uh, it's what makes you, what keeps you going, you know, keeps the fire inside of you alive and it's important, yeah. There was definitely a less emphasis on paddle surfing for the first three years that I came here. And now I feel like maybe last year during the lockdown season, everyone put a little bit more emphasis onto getting out there on their guns again. And now this season has been super interesting, seeing everyone come back for the paddle. Um, I don't know, maybe even shunning the toe a little bit. And really just trying to get, get all the waves they can paddling before the big toe days come. Uh, I guess that's been nice to see. And um, I don't know, I feel like the vibes here in Nazareth are always super friendly. All the locals are really cool, uh, very welcoming. It's just like the, the big wave maker, I guess. And I don't know, everyone treats it accordingly. Do you think you've learned a lot in the last four years and like when you look at it now, you know? Yeah, definitely. Not only to the way that we approach the wave and the way that we approach our sessions and stuff like that. I feel like the whole lifestyle around it has become more I don't know. I always used to just think about coming here to surf the big waves and very often forgot that, you know, 90% of it is surrounding the big waves and everything leading up to it and the whole, yeah, approach around it, I guess. Um, just being here with all the boys and hustling and trying to get on the, on the big waves and, you know, trying to figure all that stuff out. It's been really exciting. And so have you done any toe surfing? Yeah, I had a little toe surfing on my on my ten foot gun the other day. <laughs> my mate Sasha whipped me into a couple of fun ones. Um, haven't done any toe surfing on toe boards yet, but I guess that'll come at a later stage. Just want to focus on on paddling the days that I can paddle, and then maybe watching and learning the toe guys on the on the big days. See how it all works and stuff. So this season's been darn good, hasn't it? It's like it's been day after day. So talk about this last week. Yeah, well, this last week has been, I don't know, I think four or five days of surfing, six to eight hours every day. Been really fun from 20 to 30 foot faces, I would say, I guess. Been some really epic conditions. Good to get to see everyone again, get familiar with everyone and get familiar with the wave. Um, yeah, Nazareth is a very different beast. It takes a while to figure out again and see where you want to be sitting and all that kind of jazz. So. 
yeah, I guess it's time to get get associated. <laughs> to be honest with you, I never actually check the swell forecast. I just check the weather forecast to see what the, the sun's gonna be shining. <laughs> I let everyone else worry about the swell forecast and I just follow them on the day. Seems to be less less stressful that way. When do you get to the point where you don't go out and you go, oh man, it's like way too big? I think when they start towing or when, when there's majority towing and less people paddling or if no one's paddling then I I guess you start questioning whether you're supposed to be out there or not. I guess it comes down to it, so there's, there's days where it's tow days and there's days where it's paddle day and either team or, or either side of the party does respect it. You know if there's only guys towing then I'm not going to go paddle through their lineup and stuff like that if it's not really good for paddling. Um, on the other hand I guess this is the place where people test to see how big you can paddle. So, I don't know, just keep keep looking out, see what the conditions are doing. If you feel like it's the day you're going to catch the biggest wave of your life, then I guess you should go 